Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know it's been some time since I've posted, but I'm super excited today because we're entering a new era. I recently went through a rebrand back in June and I finally have like a logo, color palette, all of the good things that make up a brand. So I'm super excited to share that with you guys here today and just talk about what's to come and what I've been up to and all that good stuff. So before I show you all of the rebranded elements, I just want to talk a little bit about why I decided to do a rebrand. So the first reason I kind of wanted to do a rebrand is because of procrastination. I feel like part of what was holding me back is just not having that or was that I did not have that cohesive kind of look. And every time I was going to make a new post, especially on Instagram, I was always starting from scratch, there was just no consistency. The second reason I decided to go through with a rebrand is just to embrace the visuals. I find everything just looks more crisp, professional and put together when it's cohesive. So that's another big reason of why I decided to pursue professional rebranding. Okay, so now I just wanna take you a little bit behind the scenes of this rebranding process because it was a journey it really and truly was a journey. If you're on my email list, you already know some of it because this has been a long process. So I attempted to originally start my branding back in January. I was working with a company. Um, I received maybe two or three iterations of what they felt made sense for my brand. I did not feel like it aligned with my vision, my values, my mission and all of that good stuff. So long story short, I ended up having to cut ties with that company. So after that, I decided to just kind of put rebranding on the back burner and try and think of like what I really wanted my brand to look like by myself so that I would have a better idea the next time around when I work with someone. So I spent a couple months doing that and I never really came up with something specific. I mean, I found like few Pinterest pictures here and there, but I didn't fully know what I wanted, which honestly everything happens for a reason because back in, I think it was April or May, there's a photographer that I follow. Her username is Amy Jules Photography on Instagram. I saw that she was doing a giveaway with herself and another, well, sorry, a graphic designer called Studio Crescent Co. And immediately, I knew that I wanted to win that giveaway because it was for like a photography package and a branding package combined and I would get it at like a discounted rate that fell into my budget. So I knew right away that I needed to win this giveaway. I remember I messaged Sarah, that's the photographer, Amy Jules Photography, and I was like, what do I need to do? Like, how can I win this? Like, do I need to get all my friends to comment and tag me? Like, I really, really, really want to win this giveaway. Um, but then anyways, we ended up having like a discovery call with all three of us. And then long story short, I ended up winning the giveaway. That's not even like the best part. The best part of it was that as we started working together, I truly feel like, I actually said this to Jess, that's the graphic designer for Studio Crescent Co. She knew my brand better than I knew my brand. Um, it was, everything came out phenomenal. I'm so excited to show you guys. Like I'm literally in love and I just think I literally had no revisions, no comments, no feedback for the most part. Like she got it bang on the first time. So that was really exciting. Okay, so now that we've kind of talked about why I decided to do a rebrand and a little bit about the journey of doing a rebrand, I just want to finally show you my new brand. Unless you follow me on Instagram and you're on my email list, then this is going to be completely new to you. All right, so I'm about to reveal the new logos, the color palette, and all of that good stuff in three, two, one. Make sure to leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of these logos, the color palette, the whole brand identity. I'm so in love with it. I think it perfectly aligns with my mission, my values, and everything. So again, this is one of the things that I mentioned during the discovery call. I kind of knew that I wanted my brand to be centered around balance because I'm a person who I'm gonna do my nails, I'm gonna do my lashes, but just know that despite me doing these things, I've already, things have been done to prepare for my future before I do any of these things. Like when I wake up on payday, automatically stuff is going to my savings, stuff is going to my investing accounts, all of that before I'm going out and doing the lashes, the nails, the hair, and all of that good stuff. 
So I knew that was kind of like the essence of what I wanted captured within my brand and that's part of my goals, but I didn't have the exact words for it until I started working with Jess and Sarah. So now that I have the whole visual identity kind of put together, I feel a lot more confident in my core values and my mission. I know that I want my YouTube channel and all my social media and just my overall goal is to just be very authentic and as transparent as possible. I think, especially in the finance industry, it's hard to know who to trust. So I kind of like that I'm just a regular person who's, you know, sharing my experience, sharing my journey. And, you know, I don't really have something to sell to you versus like a real estate agent. I'm not going to lie. Even these lawyers, which we'll talk about this in another video, because my last experience with a lawyer, mm -mm, mm. Anyways, yeah, I really, I'm just sharing my experience. There's nothing for me to necessarily gain. There's nothing for me to necessarily lose. It's just really, I just hope to help people and educate people on everything that has to do with personal finance, money, and entrepreneurship. Overall, my branding journey from start to finish was definitely longer than expected. There was ups and downs, but like I was saying, I truly think everything happens for a reason because I honestly don't know of any other designer specifically who could have produced what studio crescent co produced for me and like i was saying i didn't even know what i wanted but she somehow knew what i wanted so definitely make sure to check her out if you're looking for graphic design brand identity work stuff like that and also make sure to check out sarah amy jules photography who did my photography for the brand once again, make sure to let me know what you think of the whole brand identity in the comments down below. Make sure to give this video a like if you're excited for what's to come in my future videos. And of course, subscribe to my channel to stay up to date. Thank you for watching.